in front of me, I have a three digit serial number example and an excellent, beautiful one at that of the most iconic machine gun in existence, the Thompson submachine gun, better known as the Tommy gun or the Chicago typewriter. Used by notorious gangsters such as the well-known Bonnie and Clyde, Al Capone himself, and a Thompson even took out Pretty Boy Floyd. So the design of the Thompson spawns its roots back to the World War I era, where the well-respected U.S. Army General John T. Thompson came up with this design using the Blishlock patented principle. So this has a bolt that rotates slightly and it's supposed to function in a way that uses metal adhesion where in this system using the 45 ACP round it was designed to rather use a friction delayed blowback system and the sides of the bolt even have on the inside of here the early leather pads so this is a true model 1921 and it's in the AC configuration you see the cuts compensator on the front of it that makes it an AC so that was added post 1926. This gun's wearing Pennsylvania police inventory number on the side of the front. So this example has a double shipment record where it says it went to Bogota, Colombia, although it also says it went to the Pennsylvania police. So that, that Bogota, Colombia shipment was as early as 1921, right in the year it was made. And this being an early example, number 202, mind you, that was obviously a very early shipment of Thompson's. It's believed that this possibly was never delivered to Columbia, and it kind of speaks for itself due to the condition. This doesn't look like it went overseas. This was likely delivered to the Pennsylvania police. It, it was probably diverted to them rather than be shipped to Bogota. So the Thompson was designed around the 45 ACP round. And when John Thompson invented it, he coined it the trench broom. It was intended to be sent overseas during World War I to be used in the trenches. They didn't make it there in time. And so he was stuck with this design and ended up gaining interest in it after World War I from the U.S. Marine Corps and the Postal Service. And a lot of these were used in incidents with the coal mining riots where, where guards carried them. And then gangsters got their hands on them. They were sold commercially. You could walk into a hardware store and literally buy one of these with cash. They costed about the same as a Model T. They were well, maybe slightly cheaper, but they were something like $200, $220 at the time but they were accessible. People could actually get their hands on these if they had money. And so the people who did have money and were able to afford them, unfortunately, were mostly gangsters. And then the FBI had some and police carried them. So they were on both sides of the law, which gained them a lot of fame and led to kind of the demise of machine gun ownership as we know it with the 1934 Act. These guns have some wonderful features on them. Looking at this example, this early piece, it has the early ladder sight, just a beautiful, beautiful early sight. The front forend here with the fore grip, the pistol grip on the front, and with this early cuts compensator added to it, it has the detachable early walnut buttstock all of the best features you want to see in an early Thompson, let alone its condition. It's accompanied by this beautiful case with four extra stick magazines. The gun itself is wearing a Type L 50 round drum as it sits. It has the beautiful early commercial blue style high polish finish. It's marked model 1921 on the side of the receiver above number 202. It's a 95% finish rating on this original blue finish. So the Thompson being one of the most iconic machine guns 
saw use in the Roaring Twenties, the Great Depression, the Banana Wars with the U.S. Marine Corps, and even saw its most heavy use in World War II where they updated it to the more simplified variants and made over one and a half million of them. And those guns saw use all the way through Vietnam. And then it got a second life in the Hollywood films that we all know and love. And here in front of me, I have one of the finest surviving examples of an early model 1921 Thompson submachine gun. And this is going to be offered in our May premiere sale. Do not miss your opportunity to own one of the finest examples of a three-digit serial number model 1921 Thompson.